Merry Christmas! Congratulations. You're the proud owner of a new webcam. Now, before you panic, don't worry. It's not hard to set up. I'm going to help you do that right now. So, just watch. Of course, you have to take it out of the box. It goes without saying. Inside, you're going to have a webcam. Just go ahead and get him out. To the side. That's a webcam. And you have a little CD pack. Now, this CD is what you're going to use first. Just take it out of the little baggie. And put it into your CD drive, which should be on the front of your computer somewhere. Here we go. Now, you might have Windows XP, you might have Windows Vista, I'm running Windows 7, so it may look a little bit different, but the basic principle is still the same. After you put the CD in, you're going to get a little pop-up window, and when you see this window, just press run, or autoplay, depending on what your computer says to do. From there, you're going to follow everything step by step, just as the screen says. Alright. Language is English. Click I agree. And then next. Alright, it tells you right here we're going to need to plug in your web camera. So go ahead and get it ready to go. Now the plug is USB. Okay, so you probably have one of these on the front of your computer. If not, you've got one in the back. I'm going to use the one on the front. This slides right in. You don't have to at this point if you don't want to, but I'm going to put mine on top of the monitor while it's looking for it. Don't drop it. At this point, the computer should have picked up the camera, and the software will say, connecting, camera connected. Let it do its thing. Okay. Once it says camera connected, click next. Now it's going to check for updates and most likely it will say your software is up to date. It then says yes, install my webcam with Logitech Fit. Make sure that's selected and hit next. Now this might take a few minutes or a few seconds depending on your computer. And what it's going to do is install the software so that way you can call other people with Logitech cameras and everything you need for the camera to work. So we're going to check back here in about, oh, no wait, maybe it will be done fast enough. So after you get past the installing screen, which again it might take a while depending on your computer, it's going to ask you to create an account. So go ahead and click on that. You're going to enter your name, so Leon Carpenter for me or whatever yours may be. And then you're going to enter your email address. And you made one for this video. And then you're going to want to create a password for your account here. So make sure it's something you can easily remember. It um, doesn't have to be something for Fort Knox type security yet. It can be basic. Just remember it has to be something that you can recall. And make sure you have checked the box where it says I have read and agree and create account. Once you do that, you're ready to go. It's going to bring a picture of you up with your camera. And you want to look into your video and smile and take a photo. It'll give you a little count off, a one, two, three, so you can get yourself ready. I'm going to go ahead and accept this photo. It's going to take a few minutes, a few seconds again while it saves everything. 
It's going to ask you if you have your microphone and your, your speaker set up. Hit next. And would you like to launch Fib now? Yes, let's go. And you're in. You'll see you have a button that says add a friend and practice call. So what you'll need to do is get email addresses for friends and family, enter their email address and hit add. It'll add them to your network. If you need to get those email addresses, you have to ask said family members. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Again, put the CD in, let it tell you what to do. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy your new Logitech camera. And I'll see you on the interwebs.